Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and in today's Two Minute Tuesday slash Tuesday Tip video, uh, we've got another collaboration with the AutoCAD blog. Uh, so I'll put a link below to the accompanying article. Uh, in today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to use the align command to speed up your workflow and hopefully teach you a new trick. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, so as always, I'm gonna try and keep this quick. Maybe we'll even make that two minute mark. Uh, I'm not hopeful, but you never know. All right, so today we're gonna to go over the align command. Uh, and in case you haven't used it before, the align command kind of combines three commands from AutoCAD. Uh, it combines a move, a rotate, and a scale if you'd like to use that. Uh, it can really save you a lot of time uh, when trying to align objects with other objects. In the example we're gonna to use today, uh, you can see I've got two floor plans, and if you look closely, they're actually using the same uh, base floor plan, so the wall, layout, everything is the same. This one on the right has just been rotated and it's larger. But the overall floor plan, or outline, is the same. It's just that the one on the right has the electrical uh, line work on it, and the one on the left is just the base floor plan with the uh, room labels and doors. So in our example, we're going to use the align command to align this floor plan and overlay it or align it to this floor plan on the left here. You can use the align command for uh, any kind of object, whether it's a block, an XREF, uh, individual line work like this one, groups. Uh, it can be super helpful too if you're trying to align, say, a background image to a known object or a known locations. Uh, you can use the same thing. To get started, all you need to know is a source point and then its destination point. And I'll show you right now. So we're going to select our objects and we're going to type in align. And it's going to ask for our first source point. Uh, in this example, I'm going to use this bottom corner here of the floor plan and I'm just going to click my first destination point, so where I would like to match that point to, to its corresponding point on this floor plan, which is in this corner. Now it's gonna ask for my second source point, and this is where it gets important to make sure you have two matching points, uh, because it's going to rotate and scale based on this point. So we're gonna use this top corner point uh, here, and that point on this floor plan is over here. So we're just gonna put the destination point right there. Now, uh, for some objects, if you need a little bit more exact, or you're going to scale off of another point, you can use a third uh, source point and destination point. In most cases, you're only going to want to use two, uh, since you can kind of warp or distort your objects if the three points don't work out perfectly. Uh, so we're just going to hit enter to continue and skip the third point. And now it's gonna ask you if you wanna scale your objects. Sometimes you wanna keep the existing scale and simply just align them by moving and rotating. In our case, we want it to match up perfectly, so we're going to say yes to uh, scaling based on the points. So now you can see that our uh, electrical floor plan matches exactly with our XREF in floor plan with the text and labels uh, perfectly. So hopefully this example has helped explain the align command a little bit better. Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to find a bunch of useful cases for it in your day-to-day -day work. Uh, and again, this has been in collaboration with the Autodesk AutoCAD blog. So be sure to hit the link below to go and check out the full article I wrote for them for their Tuesday tips. And make sure you guys subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching, cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.